It's day 33. Do it to life before life do it to you. Do it to 2021. A whole year of breast cancer slash cancer awareness. Day 33. Today is Friday. Another week has gone by. Super quick, super fast. A lot of growth, a lot of learning, a lot of trials, a lot of errors. Some things where I wasn't. Yesterday was was the four agreements, and I had to yesterday do my best. That was the fourth agreement. Try to incorporate doing my best, meaning that when situation, just the situation that arose, and I could have easily, because it, it came across. It's one of the things that um that I've noticed. If something comes across my view and I recognize it, then it means I'm supposed to engage and address that. You know, like, hey, dog, man, I, like I looked at one of my customers' product the other day. I saw it. I knew I was supposed to check up on it. But for some reason, I said, ah, you know what? That's what I got that service department for. They'll take care of it, right? They'll take care of it. Then I came in yesterday, saw the vehicle again, and then I went over to it to see if the products was right on it, and boom, they weren't right. And I said, gosh, I could have said, that's what I saw yesterday. That's what I saw yesterday. But I had the same feeling. Oh, they'll take care of it. And I say, no, nah, this time, this is the second time. I gotta try to do my best, cause the day before I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't doing my best, right? And I, and guess what? The judge, you no, know, don't judge yourself, love yourself, right? It wanted to con convict me of, man, you shoulda, woulda, you shoulda, you shoulda did that. Now, uh, for about two or three seconds, you had to fight that off. I had to fight that off. And then I went around and said, well, hey, look, I'm here right now. What's the one thing I can do right now? And as such, by doing to make everything else easy and necessary. And that's flex this muscle. That's grow this muscle. That's use this muscle. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to use this muscle. And that muscle is doing my best muscle. Going into, the, going into the fire. You see what I'm saying? And that's what the day is. The day is about going into the fire. The day is Friday. Faces of fear on Friday. There was a fear that was in there. And that fear was... That it was gonna cost me something. That's I guess that's the biggest fear to sum it up in a nutshell. It's gonna cost you something, some time or some money. Inside that book, the one thing I don't know if you guys start reading it yet, start listening to it. He put a story in there about some seminary students in there. You know, the Good Samaritan. They was going to give a talk on the Good Samaritan. And the Good Samaritan, the whole story of the Good Samaritan, that a guy was on the side of the street. It's a Bible story guy on the side of the street and all the religious people and and, and, and people that should have helped and walked on the other side of the road did not happen. But the Samaritan, uh it was this was a you know a race of people, group of people that normally didn't deal with these other people. But since this guy was hurt, you know, it was just easy for him to walk on the other side of the road too. You know, because he was going to church. But anyway, that's what they were giving this talk on. This was back then. They said, hey, I want y'all to read this story, give a talk on it, understand what that means. And they told some of the people, then they then on their way to school, they placed the uh, actor to act like he was the guy that was hurt. And they told some of the students, you know, some of the students stopped, but the students that was told that they were late did not stop, even though they was going to give a talk on how to stop and help strangers. Just adding that extra element, that fear of loss, that fear of loss of time. And what that ultimately boils down to, for those people, it was their ego. They didn't want to look bad for showing up late or not giving a talk. Maybe they, they prepared a super great talk. They was going to knock their socks off. They had to give it. They didn't want to look bad. You see what I'm saying? I think that's what boils down to for them because they didn't want to look bad as far as showing up late. But what's my what, what was my loss? Was it money? Yeah, it makes a lot of decisions. Whether I stop on the side of the road, feel, you know, for somebody to pick somebody, loss of time, I'm gonna show up late. I passed a couple of folks, not helped them. Now I've helped a few, and I've not helped a few. 
You see what I'm saying? So we got we got things in place, and oh, we always say the next guy's going to help him. That's another area that I'm working in on myself, right? But that's why I'm, you know, this is muscle that I'm building up. This breast cancer muscle, personal growth muscle, that's the muscle that I'm building up. I, I, I really believe that facing these fears. So that's one of the fears I got to face today is pull out a couple of my problems. I know my brain has already made some, some assumptions that it may go negative. It may not go in, in my favor. But I still need to, because it's not going to cost me a bunch of money. It's only going to cost me a, a blow to the ego. Ego need to take a couple of blows for the team. Don't you think so? I think so. I'm going to tell the ego, you need to take a couple of blows for the team. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the other thing that we was doing, we was looking at 1 Samuel, what I was doing, looking at 1 Samuel. Chapter 1, verse 9. I think that's what it was. Chapter 9, verse 1. It's one of those. Anyway, he was uh, looking for his, um, his his dad's sheeps and goats and stuff like that. They went seeking through other cities. Remember the day this K for knock, I mean, facing our fears. We're using the acronym out of the Bible, which is out of Matthew 7, which is asking, this is, it is given, which is the A. Seek and you shall find, which is the S. K is knock and the door shall be open. And Friday, we do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Friday's not. And so he got a word from his servant, his team member, a person that was close to him. May not knew about the whole city, but he knew one thing. Hey, look, do you know where we are right now? That's what he told him. We've been traveling through all these cities, seeking and seeking and seeking, using our own power. Now, we're in the city. It says a prophet here in the city. Let's go and ask him. I know he probably thought in his mind, you know, man, I'm going to ask the prophet of God where the sheep at. You know, it seems, seems we, we think like that, right? Where the sheep at? But there's a proof that God is always interested in the small things of our life. He's always interested. But when what he find, what you normally find out that you get a when dealing with God, you get a lot more benefits than you bargain for he loads your wagon daily with blessings my, my my pastor always said god is a god of abundance he can't give a little when he gives he gives a lot but we determine that level of of, of receiving we determine that just like somebody come up to you and say hey you want some food yeah then you'll say oh just give me a little bit i just want to taste a little bit he say no eat as much as you want then the ego say, man, we don't want to look like we greedy, look like we look like we starving, look like we poor or something like that. No, we're not going to do that. See that? No, go ahead and partake. And that's the stronghold that we got to go, that I got to break over. But anyway, he had the courage. I knew it took some courage, a stronghold to go over, go up to this man of God. But what happened was, as he was going, it says the man of God, he okay, they had to ask another person. Just putting your trust outside this ego saying, hey, yeah, I'm listening to what you said. But now we got to ask another person, which is not the man of God, but it gave them directions. Hey, go in here. He, you can, if you run right now, you can catch him. How many times we heard that and we drag our feet? Drag our feet. We already got our word what we're supposed to do, but then we drag our feet and then missed the opportunity and then coulda, shoulda, woulda. You see what I'm saying? So once we get, and that's a muscle that, that's a muscle that I'm building. Being able to hear how, how, how subtle that voice is and having that courage. Hey, that's the voice. Let me go ahead and act immediately. And I think that's one of the missing pieces of the puzzle in my life is acting immediately. But the way this all kind of work together, that's what this one thing is, is having that clear goal, see? I found out when my goal is not clear, my acting is not immediate. And when my goal is clear, my acting is immediate. So, I mean, we gotta work on these goals, right? And I got mine, right? One of my one of my goals, this is my someday goal. Go ahead and share it with you, my someday goal, because I was just thinking about it the other day, looking at that sheet, what's my someday goal? I want a, I want a family business. 
where the whole family, the whole community, all the family members working for the same business. That's what I want. But we're all just, you know, partaking and adding, you know, just this whole family business. And that's 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 my someday goal. And then my goal for my goal for next year, 2021, is to double my income. So I'm on a pad. This is a domino right here. So you see what I'm saying? I'm a I got a lot of fears to overcome. This is November. We said a lot of ways, one of the good ways to overcome, to break down these strongholds is through giving and sharing. Another, one of the ways of tremendous growth is through giving and sharing and teaching. So I'm teaching and sharing and giving so I can experience tremendous growth so I can teach more, share more, give more, and receive tremendous more growth. You see how that work? I think that's gonna work. It's your boy Ob Z here, do it to life. The full life, do it to you, do it to 2021, a whole year of breast cancer awareness and personal growth. It's your boy Ob Z, peace out.